ഹായ് എല്ലാവർക്കും ഞങ്ങളുടെ അടുത്ത വീഡിയോയിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം പിന്നെ നമ്മൾ പോകുന്നത് സ്ലൈഗോയിൽ ഈഗിൾ ഫ്ലൈങ് കാണാനാണ് കേട്ടോ അപ്പം നമുക്ക് അവിടെ ചെന്ന് കഴിയുമ്പോഴത്തേക്ക് ഈഗിൾസിനെ കാണാം അപ്പം നമ്മുടെ കയ്യിൽ അതിനെ വെച്ച് തരും എന്നൊക്കെയാണ് പറയുന്നത് അപ്പം നമുക്ക് പോയിട്ട് നോക്കാം നോക്കാം അവിടെ ചെന്ന് കഴിയുമ്പോൾ എങ്ങനെയാണ് അവസ്ഥ അതെ ഇനിവേ ചെറിയ മഴക്കാറുണ്ട് എന്നത്തെ പോലെ അയർലൻഡിൽ എപ്പോഴും മഴയാണല്ലോ മഴക്കാറുണ്ട് നമുക്ക് പോയിട്ട് വരാം കേട്ടോ ബൈ ഇത് കണ്ടോ ഇതിന് മൂന്ന് കൊമ്പുണ്ട് വൺ ടു ത്രീ കണ്ടോ മൂന്ന് കൊമ്പ് കാണുന്നുണ്ട് നിങ്ങള് അതുപോലെ ഇവിടെ അതെ ആ ആ നിൽക്കുന്ന ആടിനും ഉണ്ട് മൂന്നെണ്ണം കണ്ടോ ഇതേണ്ടോ ഇതാണ് ചെമ്മരിയാടിൻ്റെ തോല് കണ്ടോ ഇത്ര അടുത്ത് നമുക്ക് കാണാം കാണാം നല്ല ഭംഗിയായിട്ടുണ്ട് പല കളേഴ്സ് കുഞ്ഞു കുതിര അതാ ഏറ്റവും ചെറുത് ഇത് വലുത് ഏറ്റവും തോന്നുന്ന അമ്മ ഒന്ന് ടിക്കറ്റ് കൗണ്ടർ ആട്ടോ അത് അവിടെ നമ്മൾ ടിക്കറ്റ് എടുക്കണം തോന്നുന്നു ഉള്ളിലോട്ട് പോകാനായിട്ട് ഒത്തിരി ആൾക്കാരുണ്ട് ഇവിടെ രണ്ട് ഷോ ആയിട്ടാണ് കേട്ടോ ഉച്ചയ്ക്കും പിന്നെ രാവിലെ അങ്ങനെ രണ്ട് ഷോ നാല് മണിയാകുമ്പോൾ ഇത് അടയ്ക്കുകയും ചെയ്യും ടെയിൽഡ് ഈഗിളാണ് കേട്ടോ അതിൻ്റെ വാലെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ വെള്ള കളറാണ് അതാണ് ഇതിൻ്റെ പ്രത്യേകത കണ്ടത് നോക്കുന്നുണ്ട് കേട്ടോ ഇത് ചെറിയൊരു സൂ പോലെ കണ്ടോ വേണ്ട വേണ്ട ഇനി ഇതല്ലേ മാൻ മാൻ നിങ്ങൾ കാണുന്ന മാനിട്ട് ഓടിക്കുകയാണ് മറ്റേതിനെ
ഇത് വേറൊരു ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഇതാ ടൈഗിൾ ഇതെന്നാ ചുമന്ന കാല ഇതിന് പ്രത്യേകത എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇത് ചെറുതാണെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു അത് കണ്ടോ മൂങ്ങ മൂങ്ങനെ കാണാൻ പറ്റുന്നുണ്ടോ നല്ല ഭംഗിയുണ്ട് കേട്ടോ നേരിട്ട് കാണാനായിട്ട് അത് കണ്ട നല്ല ഭംഗിയുണ്ട് അതിനെ കാണാൻ വൈറ്റിൻ്റെ ആശുണ്ട് പിന്നെ ഒരു ബ്ലാക്ക് സ്പോട്ടാണ് കേട്ടോ അദ്ദേഹത്തിങ്ങനെ വേറെ വേറെ ടൈപ്പുകളാണ് കേട്ടോ അതിൻ്റെ തൂവല് കണ്ടോ നല്ല രസമല്ലേ ഒരു നല്ലൊരു കളർ ബേഡിൻ്റെ ഒക്കെ ഫുഡ് മേടിക്കാം കേട്ടോ ഇത് നമുക്ക് ആകെ ഇവിടെ ഉള്ള കോഴികൾക്കും പിന്നെ കിളികൾക്കും ഒക്കെ കൊടുക്കാനായിട്ട് പറ്റത്തുള്ളൂ നമുക്ക് പ്രാവിച്ചു We ask you please stay behind any barriers that you see and just stick to the right here and the display will just be up there at the time is at 3 o'clock I believe. But this right here is our first bird of prey and his name is Solomon. He is a white-tailed sea eagle. Hello. How are you? Now guys, before we get moving this will be the last bit of my tour. So you guys are going to be able to rule number 2 is without chasing our animals. Now I know it seems very tempting to see our chickens and give them a good eye rope. If the chickens or birds of prey run away from you, well there's probably a good reason for that. For instance, our pigeons, they don't really like people too much. And if you start chasing the pigeons, well you need to imagine a gorilla chasing you. It's not very nice. So please do not chase me fast asleep. Oh, you're awake. <laughs> this right here is Francis. Now the three boys I have running around on the floor are the three albinos. They're all only Francis. one years of age. They're still exploring the world with their teeth. And has anyone had lunch or breakfast today? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they'd smell it immediately. And for myself, I had lunch one day, came in here, had a bit of food in my cheek, and I'm sure you can see I learned the hard way oh. that um Yeah, those teeth are not very nice. This guy, however, you do not have to be afraid whatsoever. He licked it at before trying to bite you. I promise. As you can see, I have no reason to be afraid of him. He's just a sweet little boy. Uh, But I'm going to bring him around and you guys are going to be able to pet him. And if you'd like, give him a whiff as well. Give him a smell. Give him a smell. Does he smell nice? You think so? Well, I can promise you right now, Francis does not smell nice. Ferrets, well, male ferrets, stink pretty bad. They have a gland that produces this yellow musk all over their body. Now, let's go to the next place. We're going to go to the next place. We're going to go to the next place. We're going to go to the next place. Baby chicks. We're so sad, I know. But the thing 
is. Does anybody here like pancakes? Pasta? Cake? Yes, everybody loves eggs. Even vegetarians do. Now, these are egg-laying chickens. But only about 50% of these guys will actually have eggs. Any guesses why? It's just constant with eggs. There you go, egg plus in biology. <laughs> Half of them are going to be males, and I don't think the males will be having eggs. Now, in the, in the past, the males were thought to be good for nothing. Not you guys, and not these guys. Before, thousands of them were discarded every month until zoos and falconries and places like us started realizing and thought, what is the point in throwing them out? We can track the calories, the nutrients, we can weigh the food, and we can weigh the birds. So it works out perfectly. So these guys come to us frozen, we thaw them, and then feed them to our birds. Now, this is your chance. So, while Bertie here was away in college, he was studying to be a magician. Instead of making rabbits disappear, he will use these little chicks. So, in about three, two, one, and it is completely gone. Now the thing is, Bertie can do this nearly 12 times per show. So him and all his buddies are eating nearly 25 chicks a day. Here's the reason we have to take out so much food every morning. Hey, Bertie. Now, Bertie, you see he will swallow these chicks whole. That is my finger. Sometimes they will actually dip them in a little bit. Here she comes. Now, so we have this little lady. This is a common kestrel. So she is part of the falcon family. In Ireland, we have four types of falcons, and these guys are kind of the Goldilocks. They're not too big and they're not too small. But we also have the Merlins, which are a good bit smaller than these guys. Some of them can actually fit in the palm of your hands. Then we've got the Peregrine Falcon, which is the fastest animal on Earth. And then we have the Hobbies. Now, the Hobbies, they used to live here in Ireland, but they've become more of a migratory bird. So they're really only spotted in Dublin nowadays. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Now, about 20 years ago, you really would have seen these guys everywhere, but unfortunately, their population has declined quite a bit. But they are still seen today. People mostly see them. These cute puffy cheeks and these tear strips right beneath her eyes. Now, she uses these the same way American footballers are painting the black. They're trying to absorb the sun so it's not blinding them when they're trying to hunt. Now, you see Alana when she's eating. Sometimes they're her weapons. They need to be a little bit stronger. But those dainty garden birds, they have those small little feet for hunting insects and worms, and they mostly use their beak as well. Now, when it comes to birds of prey, you can normally... Here was me thinking she was going to be super lazy from that start. Now, we'll do a few more. You might notice she is starting to pant. So like dogs, these guys would sweat through their mouths. well, one more. Oh, you can't touch her, sorry. <laughs> so I know it is very tempting to touch our birds, guys, but they are not like cats or dogs. They are still wild at heart. And if they get touched in the wild, they're getting the sensation they are being attacked. Now, our birds will not give out to you guys. They would rather give out to us. So there is some birds that tolerate petting, but we will let you know which ones they are. Sammy, come on. Oh, wow. oh, now, I will say, guys, Sammy waits for no man, woman, or child. So if we approach you with the glove, please put it on as quick as possible because she is very eager and very fast. Yeah, you can see there. Good. Now this is the Harris hawk or Harris's hawk. These guys are native to North and South America, and they're actually the most common bird you find in falcon reefs because they're very easily trainable and they're very social birds. In the wild, these guys would.
Who wants to go here? <laughs> now the reason these guys are so successful when they're hunting is oh, she's gonna come around. Come on, lazy lump. There she comes. Oh, oh she's coming oh. down. Now, so here we have Ashley. Nice of oh. you to make an appearance. Off she goes again. Now, Ashling has got these beautiful ornamental colors, but the minute she goes and decides to sit in a tree, she is almost completely camouflaged. The only thing that really gives her away are her eyes. Ashley, you want to look this way? Thank you. So you'll see she has those beautiful, massive orange eyes. They're nearly ten times the size of our own eyes, and they take up the majority of their head. Now, birds of prey, they can actually lock their feet in place. This is if they're hunting and something bites them. They're not going to go, ow, let go. And it also means that they can just fall. Doing well today. You going to try again? Nothing going on back there. Now, I was mentioning that her eyes take up the majority of her head, which probably leaves little space for her brain. Hey, come on. And these eyes are so large that even if you look into the ears of owls, you can see the backs of their eyes. Yes, very isn't it? Now, obviously, eyes play a huge role to the wind as they're flying. But this means that their feathers are not very waterproof. So if Ashing here decides to go hunting during the day, she actually gets bullied by rooks and crows and magpies who think that they're seeding their eggs and their chicks when they're not, but nonetheless they don't believe them, so none, they still bully them. <coughs> and what they do is they fly above them and they poop on them. So it makes their feathers already sticky and tacky and it means that they can't properly fly away. <coughs> now I'm going to bring Ashing around and you guys can actually pet her feathers to feel just how soft she is. There we go, this way. Now I do advise that you pet her back because although her feathers are very soft, her beak is not. And you would quickly learn why they are called owls. Can I pet her? Yeah, you can pet her back. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Me. Now, if you're going around to other bird displays, you might notice they don't have a whole lot of owls. It is for good reason. It takes. You know we're finished flying. The whole thing is she was working the shops. I know. Did you pet her? You want to pet her? Wow. Now Ashling does hoot, but she mostly does it during the breeding season. So if you're ever walking through the woods and you hear an owl hoot and you start hooting back at them, you're actually calling them good looking. We're hunting rabbits, hares, and other small mammals. Now, Grania, you ready? Nice good girl. Whoa. Hello, lady. Nice to see ya. Now, about a hundred years ago, we had quite a lot of eagles. I apologize, you'll see me. You'll find a lot of places named after eagles, but the chances are you might not actually see any up around. Now, she is a very big, powerful bird. She is well capable. Instead, these guys are scavengers. So when they're flying around the skies, they're not looking for a collar, an ear tag, or a name. They're going to see something lying dead in a field, and they will call it lunch instead. Now, I don't blame people in Ireland too much. We don't have a whole lot of predators. We have foxes. Everybody knows what they are. But if somebody sees an eagle flying over their head, they're not really sure what to be worried about. If you ever do come across an eagle in the wild, they give you so much warning. Now, like every parent, you can still defend your babies with your life. And the eagles, the sheep, all animals are the same. But like I said, eagles are quite cowardly, so they don't just turn to aggression. They give you lots of weaker their job all that bit easier. Now, if people are still worried about eagles taking lambs, I mentioned earlier with Sammy, the birds, they have a crop. They can only fit as much food, or they can only eat as much as they can fit into that. An eagle this size can only fit about a fistful of food in there. The most she can carry is 2 kgs. A newborn lamb is 5 kgs. It's already far too much food, it's far too heavy. Pet her, I can touch all her toes and her nails and even her beak and give her kisses and get nice and close. So she knows that I'm not a threat to her, but this does not mean you can go and pet eagles in the wild. Like I said, they know we are the reason they are going extinct, so they just want to live their lives in their little territory. Hopefully we can give them that chance. <coughs> and I'd like to thank you all again. I hope you guys learned something today, even if it is something small, like the difference of a falcon <coughs> to an owl, a hawk to a vulture, or an eagle to a chicken. So uh, thank you very much, guys. We'll head thank to our you. pet zoo. You can meet all our cuddly animals. Enjoy the rest of your stay.
Ini vale, anda nalar red color vale, mana? Di mana abad ada orang yang beri nalar manja kiri. Mau tiga orang.
वीडियो एल्षन विचा नसमें अब इवेड़ा तीर्च अगर ऐसी मो मो इन पेड़ मोड़ा या वैंड पर